Hello friends, this video on polymers part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's start with the term called polymerization. Polymerization is important because polymerization is nothing but the formation of polymer. This is nothing but formation of polymer from from where do you form polymer? I told monomer. This is called polymerization. As I told, polymer is nothing but tons of monomers combined together by covalent bond. So when you have n number of monomers, you must be doing some process to convert into polymer. And this process is called polymerization. Good example is I have Ethene. I'll take n number of ethene. This is a monomer now. And I do a polymerization process. In detail, steps to form polythene will discuss. It will form a chain. And this is called polyethene. You see? Ethene, ethene became polythene. This is a polythene. And if you see a chain of polythene, it will be something like this. A lot of CS2 molecules, plenty of CS2 molecules. Okay? N number of CS2 molecules forming a big chain. And we'll discuss again why it is soft. We'll discuss these properties later. Okay, one more good example of uh, polymerization is you must have heard this term polyester, polyester cloth. You get this is this is styrene. This is again a monomer. You do a polymerization process on this, and what you get is polystyrene. This double bond you break. This is poly string. Okay, so typical polymerization reaction is if you have only one kind of monomer, for example, A, and then you add all these A together and number of A together, you will get something like this. A, 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 A. Okay, this is one example of polymerization. Another example is if you have two different kind of monomers, we'll discuss about this A and B. So you add A and B and A and B come together using again this polymerizing process. You get A B A B A B this kind of chain. Okay, there can be cross links also. We'll talk about the different kind of possibilities. Just understand that polymerization is the process of formation of polymers from monomer. Okay, so in these cases, in these two cases, we see we saw that there is no output. I mean, there is no byproduct, but there can be a byproduct also. So, example of one reaction where you get uh, byproduct is the formation of nylon 66. So, here we use hexamethylene diamine. So, hexamethylene that is six of this and diamine two N H two on the side. This is hexamethylene diamine. When this reacts with adipic acid, adipic acid you know is COH here and COH here. N of these and N of these they react and it form nylon 66. So what happens is from here, one hydrogen goes off, and all this CH26 is intact, and it is intact. This hydrogen reacts in this OH, and the water molecule comes out. So and this hydrogen actually, and this OH also reacts, and the water molecule comes out in the N plus 2N molecules of. So if you see in this case there is a byproduct. 
So in the earlier case which I saw, the ethene case which I showed you, this would be polyethene, right? In this case, no byproduct. In this case, there was a byproduct. Anyway, we will discuss about these things in details. Just understand polymerization is nothing but a process where you have monomer, these two are different kind of monomers, from this you get polymer. Right? In this case, this polymer is called nylon 66. Why nylon 66? Why 66? Because if you see it has six molecules of carbon here and six molecules of carbon. Four, four plus two six, six. And you will discuss about these nylon 66 in detail in the next question. Okay. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.